welcome back to Satisfactory. We're on day 10 of Fixmas now. We're gonna start out with the advent calendar like usual and try and find day 10. I swear I've seen it before. Uh, it's 12, 15, 16, 14. Where's number 10? 18, 25, 20. Where is it? Where is day 10? This is day 11 right here. That's for tomorrow. I don't see a day 10. Oh my goodness. This might be the second one I have to take a hint on because I can't find day 10 at all. Man, hats off to Coffee Stain. Or I'm just super bad at these find and search things. Where's day? Oh, I see it. I put it in, but I did not hit the get the hint button. I see it before I did it. The star, the wonder star. That's what we've been waiting for. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna go do that. And then I'm gonna show you everything I did off camera. The wonder star, there it is. Okay, well, I actually do have to show you everything I did off camera because I gotta go down and get all my Fixmas stuff. So. Things look a little different here. A little different. We've got the top here expanding. We have the truck stops, so we did that last time. Got those lined up, which took, ugh, so long. That took forever. Let me take all this stuff out of here. Delete this for right now. And let me show you the pods we have set up. So this is kind of how I like to do things uh, in Satisfactory. So I kind of have these pods set up with a very specific purpose. And then I have, of course, these nice walkways and everything else. Um, I actually got to change these. Uh, hold on. Let me change these industrial railings around because this is going to bug me because uh, they're not facing the right way. I need them to be facing this. Uh, where? where can we put them? This way. Nudge, nudge, nudge. Nope. I want to nudge. Why can't I nudge this way? Ugh. Fine. What is happening? Why can't I nudge these the right way? Ugh, bad start to a video, I'll tell you that much. There we go, now I can nudge it. For some reason, it wouldn't let me nudge. Alright, let me fix this. Those were facing the wrong way. There we go. So we have these pods set up and let me jump back here just a little bit to show you. Everything is labeled, of course, labeled with the, the signs that look kind of nice. So we have iron smelting area number one, 270 ingots per minute. Now, each one of these smelters, actually each one of the production machines have various spots that snap signs to them. Uh, the smelters look really nice with the one millimeter square sign or one meter square sign, excuse me. So at the top, I have it say what we're doing. Okay, we're producing ingots, of course. How many are we producing on this machine? 60, where are they going? These are dedicated to the frames, the modular frames. So one, two, three, four, 240 iron ore per minute is what we're using here. And then this is the last 30. So the, like I said, when I started this build, these smelters are overclocked 200%. This one's not. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe it is. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be. We're supposed to be making 30 here. I'm not sure why. I probably copy and pasted it from somewhere else. Um, because I just copy and paste, uh, the settings for all these. But regardless, this one is making 30. And I have no clue where they're going yet. I have not decided. However, make 30 of them. And we have our miner here. And I'll go down on the logistics floor here in a minute and show you. Excuse me. So I have the same setup here. One, two, three, four of these making 60, one of them making 30. They're all going to question mark because I don't know exactly where they're going yet. Uh, let me get back here. So the miner back here shows us where this is iron ore and we're at 270. And I don't think I actually put a sign on this one. I should have. See, it has this nice snap point right to it. And then, of course, you can build other uh, signs based off of that. So let's go back here real quick. Uh, I thought I had everything all buttoned up and nice and neat, but of course it's satisfactory, so you always forget something. 
Uh, let's copy that guy, and then let's copy this guy, because all of these guys are doing the exact same thing. Uh, and I'll show you the logistics floor, which I feel like it looks pretty good. I feel like it looks pretty neat. Let's drop down here. Ugh, get me off of that. Honestly, the fog down here looks so creepy. Uh, because it's, like, so dark down here, because there's no lights. It's just around the miners where there's lights. I'm gonna fix that eventually. I'll put, I'll put in signs and stuff and make some nice lights. But, so, we have our miner here that's coming out to a splitter. 240 is going this way, and then this way here is taking 30. And how do I know that's taking 30 if it's just a splitter? Well, I have this guy right here. This is our counter limiter. So this is a mod that I installed for the main purpose of just making sure I'm getting enough stuff going the right way that it should be. Um, however, I think this is going to come in really nice and handy because I can input the limit of 30 here. So it's only going to give me 30 on this side. And then everything else on this, since this is going to get filled up and blocked up, everything else will be pushed this way into the 240. So, that 30 is going up into this belt here, uh, this lift. And then this 240 comes into these, which is the, um, the modular load balancers that I showed last time. And then all of the outputs, the ingots, are coming down here, and they are all coming out. 240 ingots coming this way, 30 ingots coming that way. And I'll take those over to where I think I'm going to have the uh, second floor go up. So this is the second pod here. It's the same setup, um, same setup. So, but the the belt work got a little wonky. We're not clipping. We're not clipping at all. Um, but so I had to go actually around this, go into my splitter here, and then we got 240 coming out this way. We got 30 coming this way, and then this is our counter limiter again and that is going right up into that one that's 30 and then this line here goes into this input and it outputs all of them over on this side sorry you can't really see into all of the lifts that take them up to the smelters now those smelters come down of course and they all output uh on this side so we have 240 outputting there and this extra 30 so i could Theoretically, I could have matched these up, but I think I have a plan on what I want to do. Uh, it's going to take me a minute to get there, but I think I've got a plan. Um, so this is our other miner over here. And I haven't really decided what I want to do with this area. Like, I have 270 for that miner, and I might... So I've blocked off... This area here can fit two smelters. It can't fit two constructors. It could fit one assembler. Maybe. Maybe I could put one assembler here and that would look all right. Um, but I don't have enough room. I don't have enough room in this build to go out to the left anymore. Or to the to the right now. Um, to make a smelter in iron smelting area 3. There's just not enough space. So I'm going to have to get a little bit creative. I have this nice square of area here that I think I could get all of the... I could maybe do like 30 each on smelters and just just bang them out real quick. I thought about um, taking these two here and these three here and kind of evenly splitting them and load balancing and then cutting this off halfway and having this square here for maybe constructors because I'm definitely going to bring up that miner or the, uh, the quartz that is west of us. So those two nodes will get minor blueprints put on them and those will be coming over. Then this is what I think I'm going to do for all of the stuff we're gonna be building. So I kind of built these out, these kind of uh, little lift coves and I really like this idea, I always have, where you can kind of see all the stuff moving up to the next floor if you're on one side of the facility. So let's walk out here to the limestone miner real quick and just take a look. So we would have three there, and we kind of, I had to break it up a little bit different on this side. Three, one, three, three. I might break that up differently and just do three, one, three, one, three, and kind of build out that side. I don't even know if I'm going to need that many spots, but I probably will. 
because I'm going to have another section of miners here or constructors. I have all of these smelters here. These guys are all doing the copper ore that we have. I haven't put the signs on them yet, but this is going to be copper ore uh, smelting into ingots. And then over here, we're going to have this miner and our foundries, which are going to make us our steel production. So we still have a bit of room on this floor. Like we have this giant square here in the middle. Not quite sure what I want to do with it yet. I'm thinking that I could bring in the quartz uh, from down below on the west and bring that up from the side because if we actually drop down to our logistics floor here, I kind of have preemptively planned for that with this right here. Um, so this is where they could come in. Um, it might be a little bit of a hassle, but I could build it into the wall there and kind of come over and then get rid of all these nasty ramps. Um, I did work on the power lines a little bit. They, eh, they still look bad. I don't like the idea of these power poles just being all over the map. Number one, they're ginormous. They draw a lot of attention to them. And I just, I don't like it. But you got to remember, this is temporary. The power setup is temporary because once we get turbo fuel, those things are going to be gone and all of our power is going to be carried by our railways, uh, which will make things much, much easier. And I can show you that blueprint. Um, I'm not going to be able to do it for a hell of a long time, but we'll get there. So preemptively, I have the quartz coming in here. Um, I have the limestone coming in there. I have the copper coming in all the way on this backside, which is kind of nice because I can just go right behind this miner and bring it over to the smelter area, which is here. And then we have our truck stops, which is where our coal is going to be coming from. And that's what I want to do today. So I made a blueprint for a tractor garage that I'll show you here in a second. I hope I didn't add anything to it that I don't have unlocked in this save. Oh, and the power. Sorry, the power for these smelter areas is really uh, just carried by these pod, uh, the pods. So I kind of have the power for each area uh, individually contained. So each one of the smelters is going up into its own wall socket. That wall socket is connected right here. You can kind of tell the wire uh, clipping a little bit through right here, but basically it's a wire from there to there. It always looks kind of nice because it's not sagging down through the painted beam, but it's still connected. And then I put this little sign at the edge of each one of them too, so that way I know this is where the power is going into. And then I just had these on the side uh, to try and um, basically just make sure everything worked. This facility's not on, by the way. There, there's no power yet to the facility that's something else that i need to figure out because if you look at my power control station there's the front of it there it is okay so um actually let me get up top here and then i can look at that a little bit closer so i made this power control station blueprint a while ago way back in experimental and it's ginormous. I mean, look at this thing. It's a big ass glass dome, but I love it um, because so it uses the, um, the the power switch. And my idea for this was to have this at the top of each facility. And then I could have um, basically the train come in at the bottom. I could take one power line and connect it to I think it's the left one on this. No, it's the right one. Uh, I can't build it right now just because I don't have the encased industrial beams, quick wire, uh, heavy modular frames, or plastic. I don't even have plastic unlocked yet, so I can't do this. But I'd like these on top of each facility, and then this is where the power gets connected to. So that way, at my main base, I can have the priority power switch and be like, hey, this is. Uh, this will probably be like starter base or something. And then I'll have written down exactly what's coming out of here. But then I can flick these on and off from my actual home base. And I can be like, oh, this one's doing 4,800 screws per minute. And do I need that right now or not? And I can turn it on, turn it off, or wherever the screws are going. But basically, I'll know. Um, so I like this idea. I don't even know what the plastic is for. What is 20 plastic for? Uh... 
I have no idea what would be using plastic in this. Unless I used, uh, I think I used coated, uh, I think that's it. I think I used coated concrete on this. I could get rid of that. But anyways, that's the idea. So I think in this base, I might have everything, um, coming up through, like, a central location with, uh, power. And something I really like about the structural solutions... By the way, I watched back my one video where I was kicking all those off and I, like, screwed up saying it 20 times. Pretty funny. Uh, uh, uh give me this section. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. So something I love about this is right here. So you can tell that there's a wall outlet there. There's a, a snapping point. And this this isn't um this isn't mods, this isn't me nudging, this is nothing. This is just straight up where the snapping points are. And you can actually run power through there, and it looks so good. Like you can't even tell that there's power coming out of there. Um even if I build up to that right now, I I don't think you can't even see where the you can't even see the wall connections or the wire, which is so nice. And then you could even put one right there, connect it like that, and you still you can kind of tell there's a wire there, but not really. The problem comes when you want it to snap to the bottom, so it kind of looks like it's it's phasing through a little bit but there's also a little bit of a gap here so it uh i'm still undecided if i want to use that but i figured that out and i was like oh my gosh this looks so nice it gets them out of the way of everything or you could potentially have one like come out actually i wonder if i could have it come out like that look at that it doesn't even oh that's how you do it right there that is how you do it Look, it's not clipping at all. Oh my gosh, I think I just... Did I just win Satisfactory? I think I just won Satisfactory. Look at that. That looks so nice. And then I can just have this basically come out and go to each one of those. Oh, so good. Um, also, I, um, you know, I apologize for my minor blueprint video because it took so long for me to do that, and I thought it was the most boring video I've ever made. However, according to my YouTube analytics, uh, it's the most exciting video I've ever made, which is terrifyingly shocking to me. I've gotten more views off that one video than the entire Satisfactory, um, series combined. Oh, hello, Mr. Bean. Thank you. And I have no clue why. This took me so long to do. Like, so long. And it was painful. I don't know. I, I think maybe it's the... Oh, I just slid... I, I, uh, I just slid right through that. That's cool. I think it's maybe the blueprint portion of it that everybody really liked. I don't know. But on to today's video. We have a tractor garage. Uh, I need quick wire and crystal oscillators for this. Well, we're gonna have to make the quick wire because I don't have a production line set up for that yet. Also don't have a production line for crystal oscillators because they are expansive. Look at that. Quartz, crystal, cable, and reinforced iron plates. Expensive little guy. But we only need to make one of these. Actually, two seconds. Let me just throw this on the to-do list so that way I know. And we also need some encased industrial memes, which I made an absolute ass time. At one point in time. Where did they go? I have no idea. Okay, that's all the crystal oscillators we need. Let's switch over to these. We gotta make 28 of these bad boys. And then we're going to take our star that we finally got and put that into the MAM. And I don't have Winter Wonderland set up. Like I said, I have an idea of where I want it to go. But it's so far away, it's on the other side of the map. We might have to go exploring at some point. 
God, I've been recording for 20 minutes and I haven't done a GD thing yet. Um, so, we're gonna make these. Uh, we're gonna go get quick wire. Oh, we have enough? Okay. Hang on two seconds. We got enough. Okay, we got enough of that. Uh, we need to go get quick wire. Let's do our Fixmas holiday event stuff. Look at the Wonder Star. We have all the things now. Upgrade three. We see you when you're sleeping. We know when you're awake. We know if you've been productive or not. So be efficient for goodness sake. That's terrifying. You know, I always... They have 500 Wonder Stars. That's so many. 500 bows, 500 candy canes. Uh, did I use all the candy canes? I thought I had candy canes. Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. That's where all my candy canes and stuff went. I was like, I know I made a bunch. Uh, let's see. So for wreath, the Fixmas wreath, we need a hundred of these. I could have swore we had a hundred and 500 bows. Hold on. Put all, I thought I put all of my Fixmas stuff in the same bin. I might have. Who knows? I got super disorganized upon making this facility, so... Shoot! I don't have any. Okay. Well, that's gonna have to be added to the list of things to do. So, let me go ahead and write this down real quick. What do we need... Finish Fixmas. Also, I hope everybody loves the ducky shirt. I think it's going to be a staple of the channel at this point. Alright, we need... Gosh, I didn't need... Yeah, we need 100 wreaths. And we need 500 bows. Just so I remember. Actually, we need a... Uh, let's scratch that. We need a thousand of those bad boys we need i'm just gonna say 500 candy canes yeah we have an absolute ass ton of snow ass tons and then we need 500 of the wonder stars now if i'm a betting man uh, the Wonder Star has to be made in a manufacturer, which we do not have unlocked. Never actually gotten this far in Fixmas. I didn't really play ever around Christmas time. Yeah, Christmas decorations. There's no way it's just made in a simple constructor. Wait, why am I looking? Ugh. I can literally click on it. What are we making in? Um, interesting. I need, oops. okay, good. I need 500 of them, but it doesn't tell me how to make them. I'm assuming they have to be made in a manufacturer or a refiner. I have no idea. Regardless, we need some quick wire. So we are going to head to our Caterium node, which is over yonder somewhere. Yeah, it's over here. It's on the other side of this. And we should still have our little miner guys on it. There they are. All right, come here. You keep spawning and I keep taking care of you. Stay away. This will stop happening to you. How much? I need 90. Alright, well, I mean, I'm gonna grab all the Caterium I have. Uh, let's just throw down a quick little craft bench. And let's mine up. Or mine up. Oh, I gotta make ingots first. And then I can make quick wire. At least it's not gonna take too long. Look, we're almost there. 
eventually we'll come over here, set up a miner. Probably that's a long way to go back to the whole the entire base. Um, I'd rather just make a Caterium uh, skyscraper. I guess I saw some awesome ones today um, on on the Reddit. I can't uh, I can't remember who it was. But they looked like they were straight out of the Matrix, and they looked sweet. I love the skyscraper idea. Okay. There we go. Now, let's go to our coal node, which is over here. Which also has little miners on it. Still haven't found the other two lizard doggos. No clue where they went. I think they phased out of existence. Ah, oh, my ankles. It just occurred to me, if I do get this node, I have to drive these guys all the way back. Okay. I knew there was going to be somebody here. Stay down. Quit spawning. And this will stop happening to you. Okay. I'll show you the little blueprint I made. It's nothing extravagant. Basically, just a little garage for our, our trucks to get through. Our tractors. So, it needs to be positioned. Really? Come on. I was right in the middle of explaining what I was trying to do. This big rock here is going to be a problem. So let's throw down our miner first things first. Uh, let's see. Because I have to go the way I built this blueprint. You have to drive out and then drive back in. It's kind of flat here, but not super flat. Hmm. Maybe I could have them drive out and around and back. Because I'm going to make the path today, too. Ah, let's see what this does. How am I missing? Oh. Silly me. It takes encased industrial beams to make the Miner Mark II. There we go. Here is my blueprint for my tractor garage. Coaching others' positions. Am I even going to be able to make it in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's do it this way. Almost. You know, I might have made this blueprint a little too small. Uh, maybe not. The idea for the blueprint, anyways, is to put the miner on this, have it go this way, and go into the truck stop and then um you know truck stop fills up tractors pull in tractors pull out what if we did it this way oh my look at those steel pipes coming out of there i don't know why those are there um i mean i do know why oh these ones are too this is so weird i made a little bench uh just a small little bench that might have to move. This rock really isn't in the way, though, if I do it this way. Ah, uh, you're not going to be able to get out, though. This coal node is a travesty. Also, that's not how I had the lights positioned at all. Well, this isn't a bad vantage point, at least. Um... 
Hmm, what about that? Let's see. So that would give us the ability to go out that way. But we wouldn't be able to get in. I could do it this way, because I could get in that way, get rid of those road barriers. Uh, this is only going to work if I can actually get the miner. Ooh, I might be able to do this. That, that doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad at all. Now, how can I set the miner up? I think I'm going to have to go this way just a little bit more. Uh, let's do one more. So, we could get out this way. That's fine. We should be able to get in this way. Maybe. Yeah, we should be able to. I'll get rid of those roadblocks and the tree. Eh. Let's give it a shot. And I'm probably not going to be able to use uh, get this miner in. Oh my god, that was so loud. Holy crap, Batman. It's encoaching the It's so this is encoaching the area of the the truck stop. However, I can put it there. And does it clip through the top or the edge? Um uh, not uh, not that I can tell from down here anyways. Let me get up on the hill. Uh, uh, come on. Oh, slightly. Slightly. Okay. Well, that was the angle, though. That was the angle we wanted. It's like this. And I think... If we can get it a little bit more, we can get it to go this way. Like this, maybe? That might be okay. Um, this is fine out here. This is fine out here, and I wouldn't have to take down that tree. That might be nice. The coal node is kind of not included, but I could bust this wall out, I guess. Let's give that a try. So it is in slightly off. Do we just nudge it a little bit? Or, you know what? No. Nope. We're not going to nudge it. We're going to keep it in the same spot that it was. But also my nice, uh, okay, apparently the color didn't stay. But that's my bench. That's my nice bench that I made. Take him take a minute to chill you know have a nice bench look out on this scenery maybe this tree goes away and just look out on this beautiful scenery i thought i was trying to like spice it up a little bit like give it some kind of pizzazz and i was like ah bench <laughs> okay i think this is gonna work so what we need to do this blueprint this blueprint was always meant to be a decent first pass we're gonna take this wall and we're gonna bump it out Uh, not the whole thing, just the wall and not minor. And we're going to take the roof off. We're going to bump that out too. Uh, we're going to bump this out. Don't look at all the stuff I'm deleting, please. Yeah, this was always just meant to be a generalized, uh, can I, 
And I middle mouse button. What the heck? Why can't I middle mouse button these? What is happening? Don't know why I couldn't middle mouse button that. Very strange. I want those to be steel. Now I can. I can't middle mouse button anything in the blueprint. I wonder if, is that because it's from a different save? I don't know. I've never had that happen before. I can do, I can do the floors, but I can't do the walls. That's, uh, that's something. Is something. Okay. This doesn't look that bad. I'll fix that off with a normal, just one millimeter wall there at the bottom. Ooh, actually, no. No, no, no. I was like, why do I need a one millimeter wall? I shouldn't. That should be... Uh, is that even going to be on? I don't know if that's on. Nope, it's not. I really got to change the settings on my... There we go. On my nudge. Because I changed them, so that way I could have smaller increments, but I feel like it just screwed up how I make stuff. Because I make a frequent amount of mistakes in judging how wide these things get. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up just a smidgen. Take down some of these leaves and flowers. Don't want these in your facility. No need for that. Oh, the huge rock is right in the middle of our truck stop, no! Now the huge rock is right in the middle of our truck stop. Well, we might have to go, uh, all right, this isn't going to work. This isn't, it's not, it's not going to do what I need it to do. This coal, this rock, you can get rid of fart rocks. Why can't you get rid of normal rocks? Okay. Well then. Well then. I think we try and do the next best thing. Which, in my opinion, is going to be having our miner set up and then maybe we can get around this rock. No, we can't drive around the rock. Can't drive around the rock. Uh-oh. Gonna have to be like this, but I know there's another big rock in here. Where is it? Is it in our way again? Oh, maybe not. Where is it? This might not be bad because we might be able to get the um the stuff can come in on that side we can put a conveyor wall in we can have the tractor come in here turn around and go back out okay we are back i had to cut that because i didn't know how i was going to do a lot of the uh the stuff for this and this is kind of what I've come up with. So I expanded it a little bit. I have the power coming in. The miner is in here, which looks good. Um, this thing is off. It should be... Uh, it should actually be right there. There we go. 
Okay, so the miner is in here. I have the uh, I have the bench out here. I kind of make like a little parking lot for these guys. Uh, and that looks kind of nice. So now my goal is to get a tractor, which I've tried this twice now, and it is. Whew, these bad boys are hard to drive. This is not fun. Okay, so I tried this earlier, and I think I have to see why okay so that's the finish mark i have to get to all right let's go around here oh yeah popping wheelies nice okay we're gonna come down onto the air quote gravel road that we have here kind of a natural pathway which is nice and i'm curious how these guys work with with the presence like do the presents stop them? Um, I don't know. So we're at 56 kilometers per hour right now. We're, we're, we're moving. We're moving and grooving. This tractor's... Come on. Come on. Get up the hill. Get up the hill. Nice. Okay. Easy. Easy coming into the homestead. Garage door. Nice. Thank you. Easy, get that turn in, get that turn in, a little rocking, rocking and rolling. And then we are going to stop here. So now let's, uh, so we stop here, F, to load stuff in, but there's nothing in there. So... Close the loop to finish recording. Um, now, okay, so maybe now it knows. Okay, it does know, because there's a pause there. Now let's go ahead and back ourselves right back out. Like I said, this is the first time I've used tractors. I didn't even, like, test this before I started. So, let's get down. Now, I'm going to make sure... That I turn around at the other place before I try and stop the recording. Alright, we're going down a hill, going down a hill. Picking up speed a little bit. Let's slow us down. Okay, we're not doing bad. We're not doing bad. This is alright. Can't wait for this to royally mess up whenever we actually start it. We're moving. We're grooving. Okay, I'm just going to follow these on the way back. Now, this is where, if I actually had a road, it would kind of... Oh, don't hit the rock. Nice. Okay, missed it. If I actually had a... Oop. Um... Okay, I think I screwed up. Right there on that rock. Almost all the way back to... Okay, we're not going to hit the check mark just yet. We are going to... Turn ourselves around. Nice. Okay. Now, let's... Uh, save that one. A name for your path. This is going to be coal to a hub. Alright, let's save that. And we're going to enable autopilot. And then we're going to get out. We're going to watch it. Now, I think I screwed up on right here. This, this bunch of nonsense right here. Uh, can I edit this node? Let's see if I delete these nodes of me screwing up. Oh, there he goes. Oh, and delete that one. Okay, let's see, because it kind of works. Uh, let's actually delete that one as well and see if it finds its way. Ah, come back. You're so fast. I didn't drive you this fast. 
Ugh. I gotta catch up. There he goes. I wonder, does he have stuff in him? Uh, he's got... Uh, he only has 96 coal. Wait, this is going to be... I don't know if I have this one set correctly. This should be an unload. This should be an unload! Uh, I don't know if it's going to work or not. Or get out of his way, though. Coming in, though. Coming in nice and smooth. A lot smoother than I was driving him. Now, let's see. He doesn't have anything in him, though. Okay, he's going to stop there. Can I edit? What's this one? Okay. I'm gonna pause. He's also pausing here. I don't know why he's pausing there. Oh gosh, he's just. He's a madman! He's a madman at the wheel. Oh my gosh, what is happening? He's trying to run me over. All right, he's going back. I feel like there's a lot that I don't know about tractors. I feel like I'm a pretty good, well, this is gonna answer my package question. Ah, nailed it. Okay, so they do hit the packages. Oh, he's not even, he's not even on the path. He's going hog wild. Oh God, now he's back there. Okay. So, is this like a uh, quantum, what is it? Quantum theory, you know, if you're, if you're observing it, it's not gonna change, but if you don't observe it, it changes or something like that. I just stare at him from above. Is he gonna get nailed on this rock? Also, the one in the one in the garage should be load, and this one should be unload, so it should be good. Excuse me. Uh yep. Yep, still hit the rock. Still hit the, is he gonna figure it out though? He's figuring it out. He's back on the trail! Oh yeah, look at that. Nicely done, little man. Nicely done. All right, this one is load and we got a lot going in. Oh. Uh, so did he just get loaded up with stuff? He did, 1900. Yeah, back it up. Come on, figure it out. Come on, figure it out. Oh, you're going off course. You're going off course. Screw it, he'll do it. He'll do it again. Oh my gosh, is it gonna load up with another? It's gonna load up with two things of coal. Okay, that's 26 hundred coal that it just loaded up with. Wait, what the hell? Let me in the door. So is it going to unload now 2,600 coal into the other machine or into the, into the stop? If it does, I definitely don't need two tractors. 2,600 per, I don't know, however long this, however long this takes. All right, I'm just going to beat him there. Because I already saw the pathway. 
I did not know that it could load. I guess I didn't know that what I thought it could only load at one station one time on a path. I know that you could like, zoop a bunch of these together and say, hey, stop at this truck, stop at this one, stop at this one. But he got it on the way forward and then he got it on the wraparound. Didn't know that was possible. That's pretty nice. Oh, this has no power. That's why. No, 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 no. That's why this doesn't work. Uh, that one. We don't need that one right now. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, that's good. That's why it didn't do anything. Okay, and this is green. Can it transfer all 2600? Oh, uh, 2490. And you still have 94 left. Okay. Now, how long are you going to sit there? Uh, not too long. Okay, I probably will redo this path, but that's not terrible. Oh, nope, you're on it, bud. You're on it. You were on the path. What are you doing? Yeah, I gotta redo this path. Uh, that's just not... You're doing your best, bud. You're doing your best. Uh, so I'll redo this and have him go up more and then down as kind of a nice, more gradual turn. I mean, they're getting it. Like, they're getting it, and he dropped off 2,500 hole, which is huge. So next time, uh, when we get back on, I will have uh, this truck station completely mapped out. I'll have the path, like, really nice and smooth, so that way it's easier for them. And then... Um, then I think we're going to finish out this floor. We'll finish out the steel production. We'll get the copper going as well, turning that into wire and copper sheet and other ingots. I'm basically going to finish the bottom floor here, probably get those coal and or the quartz nodes up here. And then we'll start on the second floor, which will be our constructors and maybe our assemblers. Thank you very much for coming. I'll see you on the next one.